Indiana State Police has identified that young boy as five-year-old Cairo Jordan. His mother is on the run tonight, while a second woman connected to the case is behind bars in California. WLKY Shaquille Lord is live at the state police post in Sellersburg. And Shaq, a lot of questions are still lingering about this case. That's exactly right, Rick and Vicky. We've learned five-year-old Cairo Jordan is from Atlanta, Georgia. Now, at the beginning of this investigation, investigators say they didn't have a lot to work with. The reason why, no missing persons report was ever filed. And according to a spokesperson today, no family members of this young boy came forward that he was missing. Now, here we are six months later. We now have a face and a name to this little boy. And hopefully soon, investigators say justice as well. Since April, investigators have worked tirelessly to identify the little boy found dead inside a suitcase in rural Washington County, Indiana. On Wednesday, Indiana State Police could finally do just that, identifying him as Cairo Jordan. He was five years old at his, the time of his death, and Cairo would have turned six this past Monday on October 24th. An autopsy found Jordan died from an electrolyte imbalance as a result of a stomach bug. His mother, 37-year-old Dewan Anderson, is facing several charges, including murder. Another woman, 40-year-old Dawn Coleman, is also facing charges and is in custody in California. It's a bittersweet day, you know, bitter because no matter what progress is made, uh, what happens in a case, we're still dealing with the tragic death of a, uh, precious young child. According to a probable cause affidavit, fingerprints found on a trash bag used to wrap the boy's body matched the two women. I want to emphasize that no crime scene evidence technologies were spared in this case, in this investigation by the Indiana State Police. Anderson has a criminal history. Earlier this year, she was arrested in South Carolina, charged with child endangerment for leading troopers on a high-speed chase with her child in the car. A few weeks later, LMPD arrested her on robbery charges at Oxmoor Center. The affidavit also points out chilling Facebook messages Anderson posted, referring to her son as a demonic child and talking about an exorcism. Then, on April 14th, investigators say cell phone towers and a home security camera placed Anderson and Coleman in Pecan, Indiana, near the wooded area where Jordan's body was found. This whole case is all about justice for Cairo. That's the only thing this case has ever been about. With thousands of tips pouring in at the start of this case, Holes says the public's help is needed now more than ever to track down Anderson. We can use help uh, locating her, so uh, for Cairo, Help us locate her for Cairo so justice can be served for him. And investigators believe Anderson is somewhere in California. She was seen in San Diego, L.A., and San Francisco. Meanwhile, Coleman is set to be ex extradited back here to Indiana within the next month to face charges in Jordan's death. Reporting live in Sellersburg, I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.